Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera to Dr. Na'azlina First of all, I'd like to introduce myself My name is Na Karina Binti Kara Azaman For the assignment, our group would like to present about the Divergent Theorem For the first slide, I will explain about the introduction of Divergent Theorem First, for the first point, uh, Divergent Theorem, also known as Gauss Theorem or Ostrogatsky theorem. It is a theorem which relates the flux of a vector field through a closed surface to the divergence of the field in the volume enclosed. For the third point, more precisely, the divergent theorem states that the surface integral of a vector field over a closed surface, which is called the flux through the surface, is equal to the volume integral of the divergent over the region inside the surface. For the four point, the divergent theorem is an important result for the mathematics of physics and engineering. In this field, it is usually applied in three dimensions. In one dimension, it is equivalent to integration by part. In two dimension, it is equivalent to the green theorem. Thank you. A many application of divergence theorem in engineering. I will explain several application of divergence theorem. The first one is divergence theorem can be used in fireworks celebration. There are many exploded fireworks during a big celebration in Malaysia such as Raya Haji, Raya Aidilfitri, Christmas, Deepavali and Chinese New Year. We might wonder how to describe the outwards of the material with some mathematical language. Actually, divergence theorem can be used to develop the language. The second one is divergence theorem also can be used in electrostatic field, heat transfer and field transfer. These three elements have some equation to describe the conservation of mass, momentum and energy. Actually, divergent theorem can be used to develop the equation with integral form and differential form. Okay. Temperature difference in a given system induce a heat flux. The induced heat flux always flows from the hot to the cold side. Heat flux are everywhere. Some examples are First, getting cold feel from standing on a cold floor since the floor has a lower temperature than the feet. Uh, the, the heat flows from the feet to the floor. Standing close to a fire feels hot. The temperature of a fire is much higher than the surrounding air. Therefore, the heat radiator from the fire to the surrounding. Feeling hot in a sauna. Since the air temperature in a sauna is higher than the body's temperature, heat flows from the air into the body. In order for heat flux to exist, it requires not only a temperature difference but also a medium truth which heat is flowing, it can flow through solid material in which case it is called conduction through gases and liquid which is called convection and through electromagnetic wave which is called radiation. We move on to the uh, first example. The question uh, given is a uh, Fourier law of heat transfer states that the heat flows vector F at a point is proportional to the negative gradient of the temperature that is F equal to negative K divergent, which means that heat energy flows hot region to cold region. The constant K uh, greater than zero is called the conductivity, which has metric unit of joule per meter per second Kelvin or watt per meter Kelvin. A temperature function for region D is given. Use the divergent theorem to find the net outward heat flux. So here is the um, is the formula given. A 
cross the boundary S of T where K equal to 1. T, X, Y and Z uh, equal to 100 plus exponent power of negative Z. The domain is X, comma, Y, comma, Z uh, equal to 0 to 1 for X. Y, 0 to 1. Z, 0 to 1. Remove the first step is step one. Please now all the information given. So T bracket X comma Y comma Z equal to plus exponent negative Z here. Then over the domain. Question 2. In the net outward heat flux, integrate f dot ds equal negative k integrate s different divergent t and ds across. The boundary s of t assume that k equal to 1. 
Okay. D x y z equal two hundred plus exponent negative y. D x y z zero x four zero y five and zero z two. We have to find the radian of t, which means the divergent t. So based on the equation, divergent t equal to differentiate t per differentiate x plus differentiate t per differentiate y plus differentiate t per differentiate z. So the equal zero i plus exponent negative y negative one dot j plus zero k. So the equation is zero negative exponent negative y zero. Based on the equation, we have to find from the equation i, j, and k. So the second step is we have to find double integral f and ds equal triple integral v divergent f dv. So we kept negative k. Double integral s divergent t and ds. So we have to find divergent t equal differentiate f one per differentiate s x plus differentiate f two per differentiate y plus differentiate f three per differentiate z. So we just write zero plus exponent negative y plus zero. So we get exponent negative y. Second step is triple integral v divergent t dv equal to triple integral s point negative y dz ds and dy. So from the denominator z is z is zero and two denominator x s is zero and four and y dy is denominator y is zero and five. We can get from the question below. When we do a normal integrate of dz, dx, dy. So first we integrate dx, which is x point negative y, z to zero, and we differentiate of dx. So be x negative y, x point negative y, x for zero, and last we different we integrate of dy. So we get x x point negative y per negative y five zero. So the lastly so the lastly of the answer we get seven point nine five. So lastly, we know that the the question is find the net outward heat flux, which is double integral s f n d s equal negative k double integral s divergent of t so we we just write the uh, the question which is double integral v negative k divergent t dv equal to negative k multiple integral v divergent t dv so negative k, we take the answer before seven point nine five. So the net heat flux is negative seven point nine five.